My name is Marilyn Cortez, and um, I've been driving with Prime since 1997. Until now, I've had a few years off time in between, a little time off time in between for family. But I've been here about nine years. Um, I will be getting my million miles in two weeks. I'm excited. And uh, basically, that's who I am. <laughs> I drive the big red Peterbilt out there with the black horses all over it. If you see that, you'll know it's me. So basically my story is that I went in, took some time off and uh, went to see my doctor, my regular doctor. And it was for just regular boring doctor visit. He went through my chart, realized I had not had a mammogram in two years, he insisted on me taking a mammogram. I went down, had a mammogram. Went back out on the road, was having a good time driving. I get a phone call, says I've got to come back to the hospital. They found uh, a suspicious lump that they want to investigate further. So I had to come in and have some more tests done, found out I had a, had a nodule they wanted removed. Went through the surgery, had about a month recovery time, back out on the road, driving, having a wonderful time. They called me back and said, you got to come back and have a second surgery. And I'm like, no, I have time for all this. Uh-uh. You know, so they wouldn't take no for an answer. So I had to go back in, have a second surgery, took a couple of months recovery. My main story is if I had not had that mammogram that the doctor insisted that I go have, if I had blown it off, said I can't take time off from work, you know, it can't be off the road, I can't do this, what's the point anyway, you know. I, if I had not went and had that mammogram done, they would not have found the lump when it was in stage one. And if I'd have waited another six months, they said I would have probably had been in stage three or four and would have had to have my breast removed and maybe even chemo. It would have really been bad. So since I had early detection, I did the mammogram, got early detection, got treatment right away. You know, the, the surgery was fairly easy, the recovery was not bad, and I'm back out on the road and everything's good. When I was diagnosed, um, I told Prime what was going on, I had to talk to my dispatcher, and Prime was awesome. My dispatcher said, whatever you need, we're here, we'll help you if we need to get you home. And the whole time I was out, my dispatcher would check in with me and find out how I was doing, how the surgery went. And it was just, Prime was just really awesome. They were there for us in every step of the way. You know, my point is don't ignore it. Don't think it's not gonna affect you. Don't think you have to worry about this. Don't think you don't have the time. Don't put it off and wait till six months when freight slow down or whatever. Do it now do it early. Early detection, early treatment really comes out with a good ending to your story. You know, I mean, I feel like I didn't even have the breast surgery because I had it done early, no radiation, no chemo, I had radiation, no chemo. So it's really, really important. If you find a lump, if you feel something odd or weird, don't ignore it. I can't emphasize it enough. Get your mammograms every year. I don't care how old you are. And men can get breast cancer too. That's something men would never think, what? Yes, men can get breast cancer too. So it's, it's very important. That's basically my story. <laughs>